Big crossovers are usually about celebrating everything unique and exciting about the individual franchises involved, and yet somehow, J-Star's Victory vs. Plus manages to feel bland and routine. Though it pulls from 45 vibrant years of manga and anime history, everything from the story to the combat is conveyed in such a visually dull way that it robs the proceedings of the sense of spectacle that well-loved universes like Dragon Ball Z and Rurouni Kenshin usually inspire. Granted, this is a PlayStation 3 game that's been mildly polished up for the PlayStation 4, but even compared to last-gen games like Ultimate Ninja Storm or JoJo's All-Star Battle, J-Star's looks and sounds lackluster. I was all ready to feel excited when pulling off signature ultimate attacks with my favorite characters, and for brief moments, I did. But all too often, the ugly-looking stages and rudimentary character models kept the fan in me from coming out to have a good time. Story mode is a huge letdown, too. Instead of taking us through fan-favorite story arcs and iconic battles, or building up to climactic what-if scenarios, all we get is a humdrum tale of a parallel universe where characters from throughout the Shonen Jump canon all exist for... reasons. There's four story arcs to choose, but they're all essentially the same, except with different playable characters. And if you want to switch from one story to another, you're essentially starting from scratch, so there isn't much reason to play all four. Even one time through the four to six hour campaign felt like too much. All you really do is wander around the overworld, heading to the next fight on your map, with a bunch of bland story filler in between. There aren't even any cutscenes once you're past the spectacular opening one, and very little voiceover in general. Most scenes boil down to static portraits and plain text, mainly made up of characters straining to work in show references to remind you, the fan, that they know you're watching. It all feels very slapdash and thrown together with little reverence for the great shows and books the characters come from. I could forgive a lot of this if there were a fun brawler underneath, but there isn't. In its very best moments, J-Stars is merely a competent, simplistic brawler. There's a ton of characters to unlock and play as, but they mostly feel disappointingly similar. A couple of support characters have novel abilities, but you'll probably mostly settle into one or two really effective attack chains and stick with them. Mobility is surprisingly stilted too, considering the abilities of the characters involved, and yet the camera still struggles to keep up with them. That makes certain stages nearly unplayable at times. Even as a fan of Hunter x Hunter, Bleach, JoJo's, and some of the other great series represented here, J-Star's Victory vs. Plus completely failed to ignite that fandom into a genuine desire to play. For more on anime and anime video games, keep it right here on IGN. Yeah!